Well, the White House said yesterday President Joe Biden discussed human rights abuses with China's President Xi Jinping. President Biden described the two-hour call as a good conversation, but warned that America needs to get moving. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen? Tracy, good evening to you. Tonight, President Joe Biden says China is investing billions of dollars in rail and auto and that the U.S. better step up. Aside from that, the White House has a long list of other major concerns about China. Last night, I was, uh, I was on the phone for two straight hours with Xi Jinping. And regarding that conversation with China, President Joe Biden warned... If we don't get moving, they're going to eat our lunch. The two presidents discussed everything from COVID-19 to climate change and weapons proliferation. The White House adds President Biden underscored his fundamental concerns about Beijing's coercive and unfair economic practices, crackdown in Hong Kong, human rights abuses in Xinjiang, and increasingly assertive actions in the region, including toward Taiwan. Today, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said the president is committed to being clear and candid in his engagements and conversations with China and emphasized... The president wants to lead with a clear and compelling affirmative U.S. policy agenda, take steps to strengthen our own economy. That's something that is a primary focus of his. That means getting the pandemic under control. When it comes to trade between the U.S. and China, no major changes to announce. The tariffs staying put. On Wall Street, the markets are watching closely as businesses are eyeing how things develop between the world's two biggest economies. Meanwhile, in Burma, also known as Myanmar, hundreds of protesters targeted the Chinese embassy there. Immediately after last week's coup, China called that country a friendly neighbor. President Joe Biden just issued an executive order regarding Burma, stating the order holds to account those responsible for unjustly arresting and detaining government leaders, politicians, human rights defenders, journalists, and religious leaders. And on the domestic front, President Biden met with a bipartisan group of senators to talk infrastructure. It used to be that uh, infrastructure wasn't a Democrat or Republican issue. There are not many Republican or Democratic roads and bridges and so on. So we're going to talk about infrastructure. Also tonight, President Joe Biden has sent a letter to congressional leaders stating that the declaration of a national emergency at the southern border was not warranted. It was unwarranted. And as a result, no more money for the wall. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.